morning, it's our second day and we're just about to start uh, our day's activity. And uh, hmm, I guess I'm all set and ready to go and uh, you can see all of my teammates down there. And uh, they're also all set and ready to go. Uh, well, I believe most of us had a night. I know I had five hours of sleep and uh, that should be enough to get me going for the whole day. So, uh, see you inside. If you understand why the Eastern people they like to sit up straight, it's simply because they want to have a bad mind. The second brain is your spinal, is actually your transportation system that transfers all the information, the electric pulses into the brain for better communication. Okay. And also bear in mind the spine straight will make other organs healthy. If you sit up straight, every single organ that connected to the respective days will be able to become functional, healthier. Okay, sit up straight is actually essential. And of course I understand that some ladies they like to wear a tiny shoe, right? It also causes a lot of problems which I'll share on the later part. Now, sit up straight means you want to walk like green sand and spine tree and sit like a bell, simply because you want to have your blood circulation. This is actually called chi. More important actually it's like your chi. In India they call it prana. You'll be able to have your blood flow to run, run smoothly to your entire body. Okay? And if you want chi to be good, then of course your energy will become better. You become charged up, you are able to do more things, you do more wonders. You are even to the extent where by you don't understand how, the, how powerful the brain is, you can actually communicate with the universe. You can actually achieve what you want in your life. Hi there. Well, we've just finished our first morning session of the day. It was a talk by SK uh, regarding our health basically and uh, function of our mind and our health as well plus also how our immune system works how we should combine our foods uh, for the then level so and so forth and uh, we're going to go for half an hour break and we're going to be back here sharp at 11 o'clock for the uh, continuation of our health talk so we'll see you later <laughs> Now, hear me out, okay? Technically, you want to be healthy. As long as you know how to breathe correctly and you drink a lot of cold water, 75% of your body problem, in terms of heart disease or degenerative disease or whatever you name it, can be eliminated, can be minimized. Meaning to say, I don't do anything, I don't eat anything, but as long as I breathe well and I drink correctly, I drink a lot of cold water, I will have a tendency, I will have the opportunity to become healthier. Because breathing is a major cause of your healthiness. The reason being, if you understand your brain, 20% of the nutrients, minerals, oxygen, water that being consumed will be used up by your brain. Can you hear me? Our brain is the smallest organ of all, 1.67 kg. But it consumes the most energy that is contributed by your body. The nutrients, the minerals, the water, and the oxygen. Okay, so if we are able to drink a lot of good water, we'll be able to become healthier. See, this is what you call practice, not practicing what you preach. Now, this is actually practice what you preach. <laughs> As Kay says, you have to go with your fruits first. <laughs> so I'm going to go with my fruits first. And then I'm going to mix with some salad. And I'll have a quick lunch after this. Run off and uh, grab a quick nap. You good? You look fast! We've got a one and a half hour break today. Yay! Yeah, he's there. He's sleeping, I believe. 
Merci. Fun and game time, and uh, we're heading up to the jungle. We're gonna do some trekking. And uh, where's Casey? Casey's gonna bring us to the waterfall. So let's go and have some fun, guys! Yeah. 